So, gate wasn't too bad, it only took one fail attempt. I suspect I'll be dying a lot more in this duel, if not necessarily in Wygraft, to Velius and his demons. Uh, to that end, I pretty much gave everyone back their previous setup. Uh, wizard mantles or elf mantles all around. Ramsa now has a diamond shield instead of an elf mantle. Very evasion heavy, so I can try and tank Wygraph. Uh, Ninja Sam is 4, 9 speed. Uh, Chemist now has a chocobo gun, so she can hopefully do some pew pew onto those dark demons when they first spawn, and then she can move on to the MA breakdance. Uh, we'll see. Uh, given her speed, I may give her a Black Hood for a little more HP at the expense of some speed, but we'll see how well this 8 speed holds out for her. So, further ado, uh, here is the first attempt at my awesome duel. <sighs> Ninja needs to go here, I guess. Chemist off to the back, Sage and Summoner, holding hands up behind. So, we're gonna be starting surrounded by corpses, and in typical RPG fashion, when something dies, they just magically vanish. And so let it be the same with these four dead knights. And here's Wygraph, just as a shrine knight. And he says to draw my sword, but I have a crossbow, which is, you know, close enough. And he has 370 health. Wonderful. Say so sword gets guarded. Yeah, just, that's just high HP multiplier and growth right there. Cross armor and gold helmets, no big deal. No reaction whatsoever and martial arts. I'm okay with this. Um, I guess just start picking at him from behind. Double shot right off the bat. Face sideways, hopefully he can't come in from behind. Uh, going for a crush punch, 44%. Gets guarded once again. Use your evil, blah blah blah, dialogue. To do this three more times. Alright. This will work. 61%. Cave the bass to the wall. Maximum evasion at all times. 49% crush punch. Once again, gets guarded. And. Uh, screwed myself on this one. 52%. Down to critical. And that was probably the best possible duel I could try to do. Um, I thought to buff him up a little bit first with maybe some yell. So once this phase happens, uh, Ramza will be a little bit more active and mobile. And depending on my failure, I may still try to do that. We'll see. But good to know that all I needed was critical, not a kill shot. It's kind of ambivalent uh, on the matter. I only end up killing him anyways. And here is the power of evil as I bring my friends, yada yada yada. Ramza, charge forward. Can't do anything. Ninja's up. Goes for a kill shot onto the demon. I'm happy about that. Rolak goes forward, goes for a lethal summons onto the sage. We have a single Giga Flare onto the ninja. Hopefully he will survive this. Yeah, only 81 damage. Another Giga Flare onto the ninja. Should not kill him, hopefully. 99 damage. Oh, he's dead. But that is a Titan that I cannot counter in the slightest. Yeah, that's not good. We need to give some speed here. Yeah. Disillusion. Sorry, am I breaking? And then, are you prone for Titan hits? Yeah, you're gonna get hit by Titan. So, get the hell out of the way. And I can't run in and save the Sage. If I attack him, do a decent amount of damage. Try and revive. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do about these guys. 
no double proc there. Here comes the Titan. And both the ladies die. Wonderful. A little bit of MA minus out of everybody. Up. Hitting Velius twice, which is a awesome thing. Also going for another lethal summons on to the chemist now. Doing trade of damage, that 2 MA didn't do much. Ramza guards the good flare, however. And now it's a life break. ATs have passed. So I'm the sage. I think the sage is first on the AT. I uh, will find out. But Cyclops is going to be looking shot. So you're going to show where you are. My break on Ramza does hit during a CT save. And let's go for a kill shot here. Wait in place. Actually, I need to move, get some HP. Good clear and kill you. Wow, Chemist missed the uh, awesome Cyclops. So we're happy about that. Res up. Summoner and frantically move away. Got to spread out here. Our team will go for another Giga Flare onto Ramza. All the 54 damage, not worried about that. Next up, uh, yeah, we'll keep on breaking the disillusion here. Needs to break his mate a little bit more so he can't go all lethal on me with these Cyclops. In the meantime, full life onto the summoner. So she's back up again. He's probably gonna go for a double shot summoner sage. Here comes the disillusion, missing Velius. Yeah, it's a Cyclops on both of them. Ninja, come back to life. And then you're gonna move away just in case Giga Flare. So there's the Cyclops hitting them both. The sages are down once again. More disillusion, more MA breaking. Ninja's up. And let's go for a kill shot onto this nasty little demon guy. Down you go. Um, uh, who res? Let's res you up, summoner. This time. Vilius again with a double panel. Double panel? Single panel! Alright. Let's go return the favor. Fairy. Start getting some offset CTs here. Wait in place. Kim is not lucky this time. Uh, however, his MA has been significantly broken, as we can see. Uh, only 180 damage-ish to the uh, healing, yeah. Get your perked up a little bit. So here is where Ramza and the Ninja are going to be very successful to some damage here. I'm trying to heal up. Cyclops, coming in right away, some magic all over the place. And I don't want to attack him because that would be lethal, he has counter flood and that will certainly kill me. So, throw a res onto the chemist, right place again.
Cyclops onto both these guys. Kill the other both. Sage going for a stealth raise. Not out of range, are we? Yeah, out of range. So let's heal up. You need to keep up this disillusion, because quite frankly, I need your remain to be less. Crystals up top. Disillusion misses. He's now going after the Sage. Summoner is up. And she can go for a double panel res here. Awesome. Where's Cyclops gonna be? That path right there. So you can move up to right. Ah, I get that panel as well. One, two, three, four. This will work. Okay, go up there. Get your fairy on. Sage eats it. Both the gents get picked up. More dissolution happening. Wish it would not miss. Keep this up. Attack. Region up on the ninja. I didn't grab that crystal. Can't even grab that crystal. But neither can Helios, I don't think. No, he can't. Uh, we're gonna wait and place and die to summons once again. Helios going for straight melee, gets Hamato'd instead, and then he goes and picks up a crystal negating everything that's happened so far, minus the inlay breaking. Oh, 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 whatever. Maybe this can keep up. So you grab yourself a crystal here, get perked up, and be some lovely Hamato bait. So minimize class direction. I do this number. Dissolution keeps on happening. Magic attack goes down. Frantically need a heal and some MP loving, and you can get need a res. So, this will be the last res out of the summoner until she can get some Shaka or Ether loving. Or I may break on Belius, thankfully. Ramza can't do anything in these regards, but he can. Uh, region on himself and run away. Okay, we'll do that. If I tried to heal the uh, summoner, they both can just die. So here's the fairy. Goes up the sage. Chemist is down to almost absolutely nothing here. Uh, move in front of him. I can deal with the class evasion, but this will help block off his walking path. So, he evades one of them. He's counter fled for 70 damage. You'll have to keep that in mind. Or I may break onto Velius. And he's now going for a Cyclops onto Ramza, who has this much life. So the question is, should I cure him or shell him? And let's go with the cure, actually. Getting up to max life is much better than uh, not. Okay, you need to start getting into the fray. Uh, decisions are starting to tear him down a little bit. But uh, one more round and hopefully can start playing with Eaters or something. Ramza thankfully survives that blow. And 
so worried about... Ah, let's do some healing. Let's go Keymore instead. I got a Sage for healing. One shell and one protect. Just up. That's chakra time. Enjoy the best of Pat. 52 MP. Alright, so time for you to start Rack and Chop. I can do a lot of things except. Here. Okay, a salamander with my awesome black robe does 184, but a Bahamut does 208. 30 MP, 40 MP, yeah, let's go with the salamander for now. Ninety four damage, or counter flood for 28. He picks up a potion from the looks of it. Straight melee, 90 damage. No big deal there. Rejuvenate goes after this. Cure will be fine. Cure should be fine. Alright. We do this number. Charging Cure ahead. She's gonna move forward. Res up the summoner right in the path of... Only 8 HP though, so uh, probably could have done a rejuvenate onto all everyone here. Rams, uh, let's do some straight melee. 44 damage gets missed, and he kind of floods that anyways for 7 damage. Thank you, Shell. Straight melee. Not in the way that will get the summoner severely hurt. Kind of flood onto him as well. No big deal. And he's now going for a Ramu. I'll have to cluster three people here. Definitely killing the summoner for all of 18. And her AT passes. Ugh. Ramzo beginning his turn. So. Wonderful for damage from your gun. Kind of flood as well. Sage. Let's go for life instead of his basic raise. Even in a full life. That way she can uh, take a couple hits here. Ninja spreading out ever so slightly. More straight melee on Develius. Some full life onto the summoner at this point. Some curing could happen. I'll we'll actually go with a yell onto yourself. Move a little bit for some MP. Move the self haste, and then you can cash it in later. So everyone is pretty much primed up for some awesome summons here. He, his MA has been so broken, he's now going for status effects instead. And that is perfectly fine, because I have three solves. Whatever. If he wants to kill one of my people, I have five that are just raring to go. Depth one. Let's go for a side shot here. And he's out of range because I'm in water. Alright, so, suck balls instead. 99. Counter flood. Uh, let's get you very spread out here. But for sake of curiosity, a holy will do all of 233 damage onto you. And a spirit surge does a mirror 105, so for a long run, 105 damage. One, two, three, four. I can make this shot, hopefully. Ramza got stopped by that counter flood. So, hello, oh, Screensaver. I missed you so much. 
Uh, during that brief intermission, he took a spirit surge and I believe no counter flood. Uh, if people keep on getting susceptible to nasty uh, status via counter flood, it could start to be a little bit cumbersome here. But so long as I stay reasonably spread out, he can't zap me too much. So just nuking him down. Salamander 184. Stop onto the summoner as well. I got two people stopped. And one guy petrified. Don't believe Remedy takes care of stop. But she can take care of that petrification, so we'll do that. Yeah, no stop love. Alright. Just up again. She stops and out of MP. We'll take the second to not do uh, damage instead. Throw some MP. 52 more. Case myself from Ramza. Ooh, we could pin him here. Let's do that. Enjoy your corner. Holy strike. 50 damage. Spirit surge. 105 damage. Let's do that. Counterflood 14. Ooh, this is also a Petrify area. So. Hmm. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll be good. I could just Petra wall him and then kill him with, with Snivus. That'd just be slow and boring. Alright, so here is the last soft. about a double panel counter flood because double petrification is not something I can deal with at this time so I had to move back this time chemist got petrified Velius does nothing summoner missed her turn Ooh, I have a darkness thing ah that's right Let's see throw does 99 damage wayfist does 102 we'll do that instead wayfist Let's do more Spirit Surge. Ramza, can you move? No, you can't. Alright, let's do an Asuna. Get you unpetrified. And I don't think Ramza has LOS like this. We'll try, though. We'll definitely try. He does! Let's do this. Counter flood, no big deal. Chemist is up. I ether onto the sage. Is Ninja up soon? No, Ninja is not up soon. I have to keep this location secure for the blockade that is imminent. So, more salamander, more Ifrit. Fire. Ooh, we just went for a loss. Double panel confusion. Forgot about the whole vertical tolerance thing. Ninja Wave Fist Ramza, which knocks him out, triggering CT save. So Ramza. Can you heal away confusion? No, but you can throw a stone at it. That number, if you're not the AT, Cassia, Elsa. Uh, move away. Get out of this AoE, regen some HP. Cassia, you get to move over here. Then I can subject myself to a nasty double panel. Nah, it's not. Nice way to place. Chemist is up. Now oh, she is playing blockade. I throw onto the summoner. 
We saw take turns, blocking Belius in. Double panel confusion once again. This can suck. Thankfully, um, she's charging a Ifrit. I won't let that happen. Actually, should be fine. Belius next again, then Elza. Uh, uh, no, let's take care of the Sage first. I don't want her getting uh, too far ahead of herself. Free to no effect. Someone gets petrified instead. I'm okay with this. But can you reach from where you are? No. Good. Got a whole unit here. Ninja can swing on in. Chemist can run off to the back and do something else. Alright, Remedy does not take care of this. That's good to know, and I'm completely out of softs. So... I'm just gonna wait in place here. Hopefully your awesome Asuna can reach. Yep. So, you go over there. Don't know why I did that. Now Ninja has to deal with front evasion a whole bunch. So, here. Bang, bang. Oh, and he dies. I didn't even notice him going into critical. Awesome! Alright, I just one-shot Velius with this. Uh, go me, and awesome methodical and resing and damage and stuff. Alright, moving on to the roof of Ravain's castle.